it tonight to put the RAM into the HP ProBooks, um, the second one that I got. And I'm just going to show you how to install the RAM. Uh, it's a pretty easy process. Um, takes maybe 10 minutes at the most. So let's get started. This is the second ProBook that we got. And I had ordered an extra 8 megabytes of RAM. So the first thing you want to do, um, every laptop and every desktop is different. Um, the desktops are obviously a big case, so you have to, it's a little bit more involved than a desktop. Um, but the laptops, some of them on the back have slots that you can just pull off. This particular one, you have to take the whole back case off. Um, and all that is, is eight screws. There's four on each side. And I have a small screwdriver to take the screws off. So it's pretty easy. Um, I, my friend showed me how to do our other laptop, put the RAM in that one. And the one thing that I noticed is these screws are really small. So when you take this off, make sure you know where all the screws go in case they fall to the side. One of them fell on the floor and they're really easy to lose. I'll just loosen four on the back side and then the four here on the front side when this got refurbished um, the company that did it you know took this off and went inside and checked everything so um, this has already been taken apart once but um, it's not too hard to take you just need to get a small little screwdriver in order to do it So the right screwdriver. Yes, you need to have the right tools and that goes for anything. You need the right tools to do the job. You don't want to mess up those, um, what do you call that one? The screws. Exactly. So, Oops. see what I meant? You want to make sure you know where all your screws go so they're all in there except for this one which we'll put back right here. Okay. So, what you can see here, um, this is a really basic layout. Their battery is here, the CD-ROM drive, the fan, the motherboard is underneath over here, and we, as you can see, we already have eight megabytes of RAM installed here. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the package that we got. Here's the, the eight, mega, eight gigabytes of RAM that we got to install. One of the biggest things that you want to remember when you're touching any components at all, um, any uh, the motherboard, any of the RAM, um, the battery even, you just want to make sure that you don't touch um, any of the parts mm -hmm. on this stuff because your, your finger has um, you know some some stuff on it and you don't want to touch any parts of this because you could damage it so when you're when you're going to pull this just touch it on the corners like this just pull it up and touch it on the corners like that you don't ever want to touch anything in the middle or on the ends so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this around like that now you can see here on the, the actual body and on the inside there's a little groove that separates the pins. Let me see. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna line up the RAM and the little notch is lined up with the notch here on the computer. Um, this is only gonna go in one way so you wanna make sure you have it lined up right. And you wanna come in at an angle and press it firmly. So you can see right now the RAM is up on an angle and it's pressed in all the way. The notch is right lined up. So what we're going to do now is you're just going to press down and you hear the snap. Once you hear the snap, you can see that the RAM is now securely in the bracket here and it's pushed in all the way. So we're ready to go. That's all you have to do. Um, each laptop is a little bit different, like I said, but the theory is the same. Um, it's really basic, really easy to do. Uh, you just want to make sure that it's in there secure, 
and we're good to go. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the cover back on. And make sure you have the cover lined up correctly. And you wanna make sure you have all your little screws again. So we'll put the cover back on. This is something that anybody can do. Um, just take your time. You wanna make sure that you do it right. And of course, great thing about having some videos and instructions on how to do things is you can watch the video as many times as you want to make sure that you got it. So there's one more thing that we're gonna do and that's turn the computer back on and make sure that the RAM has been accepted. The same RAM that we got for the other laptop um, is the one that we have that we just installed here. So um, I do know that it's gonna work and I did confirm that it is the same RAM. You wanna make sure once you get your RAM, if you buy it um, through the internet or you get it delivered, you wanna make sure it is what you order because you know sometimes that they send you the wrong one, uh, common common uh, mistake you know somebody picking it out of the out of the storeroom or something they sometimes send you the wrong one so you just want to make sure it is the right one okay so the covers back on we're gonna go ahead and turn on the laptop all right so and we're just gonna make sure that the RAM has been accepted um, I got a message on the other laptop that I installed the RAM on um, this one booted up right away. I don't think we're going to get the same message. Um, so we're just going to go ahead into the system file and make sure that we're showing 16 megabytes of RAM. There we go. So we're at the home screen. Okay, so we're going to come down. And I can already tell that it's working. Everything's very fast, so. Come over to this PC, which is the hard drive. And we're just gonna go down to properties, open up properties and, oh, we got the internet opened up right away where we left off. But right here under system properties, you're gonna see the installed memory RAM. We have 16 gigabytes now, whereas before we had eight. Yeah. So. Therefore, everything's good. We know it, it, the system accepted it, and it is showing 16. Um, it's that easy. So the biggest thing is you just want to make sure that you have the right RAM. And with Newegg.com, like I mentioned before, um, it's very easy. When you buy a laptop like this, there's a little button that shows all the compatible things with the laptop you're purchasing. So you don't have to go searching and find out uh, which one you need. They give those, they give that information to you already. Um, and then the install, you just want to make sure that the, uh, the little notch is matched up. You press it in, push it down, put the cover back on, and now you're ready to go. So thank you very much uh, for watching. And hopefully in the future, we're going to have some more um, how-tos on PCs. Uh, laptops. We have a few MacBooks, so we'll be doing some more videos in the future. Thank you, and don't forget to like and subscribe.